Hey everybody, it's Robert from Kapwing and I've spent the better part of today editing video on my brand new Chromebook. Wow, did that just turn into a tablet? This device is pretty cool. So this is a Chromebook that I just picked up this week and typically these things are thought of as web browsing devices. They are used to access Google Chrome. They're great for working on the web. But there's actually a lot of creative tasks that you can get done with a simple Chromebook, a couple hundred bucks. This is a very cheap and simple to use device. So today I wanted to highlight some of the best options for editing video on a Chromebook. I'm gonna give you my top recommendation and it is possible to create professional videos using one of these devices. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm here on my Chromebook now and I'm at kapwing.com. So the first thing I wanna point out before we even start to edit a video today is that Kapwing actually has an installable version of its website that lets you install it right on your Chromebook. So you don't have to go to your browser to access it. You can just click this plus up here in the address bar and it'll say install app. So I can click install and a new window pops open. And now Kapwing is operating on my Chromebook as if it were a native app, which is really cool. Uh, it's uh, now something that lives on your Chromebook. Like when you go into your apps on your Chromebook, you'll see it there, like right next to Netflix and TikTok. So that's the first thing that I really wanna highlight about this app that I think is really cool is that you can install it and kind of keep it around. Like for me, I use Kapwing so much, it might make sense to even pin it to my start bar here. So I've always got Kapwing handy. So. Let's talk about why Kapwing is actually a great editor now, and in my opinion, the best editor for Chromebook. So we'll just click start editing, and that takes us here into the Kapwing studio. Uh, you'll see immediately here, you have a couple options. You can click to upload a file or a video straight from your hard drive on your Chromebook, or something that I haven't seen in a lot of other editors is that you can actually paste a link from a YouTube video in here to immediately start editing it. So say for instance, I wanna just cut a piece out of this YouTube video and make a new clip from it. I can just copy the YouTube URL and paste it here into Kapwing. And you'll notice that in just a few seconds here, it instantly pulls that video in. I didn't have to download anything, which is great because I don't have a very big hard drive on this device. And I've got my video, I'm ready to edit. So I know that around the like, what is it, like 13 second mark here, we get to see the Mandalorian come into this trailer. Maybe I wanna make a new video highlighting how the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda are going to be in Fortnite now. So, I mean, as you can see here, I'm in Kapwing and I'm immediately editing this video and it's super simple. So I see Mando comes in around the like 12 second mark. I can, you know, make a trim down here to the end of when he's on screen. Let's see there, there's Baby Yoda and Mando together. And that's gonna be perfect. So I'll just click done. Here's our clip. So, you know, from here, I, I'm not gonna make this a complex editing tutorial because I'm just kind of trying to show you how simple it is to edit on a Chromebook. But you know, we could just go wild with it from here. I could make this a square that's meant for like an Instagram post or something, change my background color uh, to something that's sort of like Fortnite-y, and then you know, start adding text in and you know, making it a whole uh, separate new video to post on social. Like Mando is in Fortnite and start making this a whole new creation. So this is the Kapwing video editor on Chromebook. And again, I haven't had to download anything here. I am you know, purely running this off of web and everything is super simple. And I don't have to have a powerful machine to make this happen. So, um, you know, as this quick example here, I'm done. I can just click export video. And then another great thing about Kapwing is that we're using the power of the web to process this content. So your Chromebook is not gonna be doing any of the work here. You've still got all of your RAM and all of your hard drive space available and Kapwing is gonna take over the heavy lifting. Let's check in and see when that video is done. Okay, so our video is all done here. Let's watch it back, see how it turned out. Cost a lot of credits to convince Mando, but this is the way. All right, so it looks like it came out perfect. You may notice down here in the corner, there's a very small Kapwing watermark. So when the video is done, you can actually sign in and all you have to do to remove that watermark is just create a Kapwing account. So on the free version of Kapwing, you can export videos up to seven minutes long with no watermark for free. And no watermark is something that you're not really gonna find on any other Chromebook video editors. 
So another point to complain there. As you see on this page here, you can just click download to instantly download your video to your Chromebook device. You can also share the link just by clicking copy link and send it to somebody that way. So a lot of options there, but the video is yours and there's not gonna be a watermark forced on you. So now that you've had a chance to see Kapwing, I think it's only fair that we talk about some of the other Chromebook editors that are out there. So the first app I wanna highlight uh, for editing video on Chromebook is WeVideo. Now WeVideo is a pretty fully featured video editor uh, that will work right inside your browser on Chromebook. You can see here inside the editor, it's got a full timeline and you know it kind of looks like the traditional uh, video editor that you'd expect. You've got different layers, you've got your audio layers, you can adjust the volume for each of them. Uh, importing media, you can drag it in straight from your Chromebook device. It also allows you to connect with Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, and other places that you may be storing your media. You can't bring in links from YouTube here, but it does support quite a few other places. Um, so yeah, I was actually probably most impressed with WeVideo while looking at other options here um, because it just works pretty well and it doesn't really matter what Chromebook or what device you're on. It's a pretty similar standard experience. Um, a lot of things are locked behind the paywall you'll find. Like here, I'm just trying to add text and um, you know, like the motion titles right here, it's saying you need to pay to unlock those. But I can add some standard text um and you know audio as well and i think they do have some like sound effects and premium music in here which is a nice effect as well so yeah i believe that on the free version of we video you can export only five minutes of video each month and those videos do come with a pretty big watermark that says created with we video right at the top here i'll see if i can pull this open and show you an example of that um so yeah you see that we video watermark pretty large across the top of my video here I actually brought in a video that I had edited elsewhere to see how I could manipulate it with WeVideo. So this is WeVideo. They also have a lot of paid plans as well. I think starting as low as like $3.50 a month. So yeah, this is probably my second choice in terms of Chromebook video editors. Uh, reliable, worked as I expected, and pretty fully featured. Um, next, I wanna talk about Adobe Spark. Now, this is Adobe's attempt at doing a fully web-based editor. And there's some things that they definitely get right with Spark here. Um, it's doing something kind of weird here. Let me refresh the page for you. But um, I think Spark is largely built around templates. Like you can see as I right as I come into the homepage of Spark here, I have options for Instagram story post, regular Instagram post, Facebook post, uh, slideshow. So I do really enjoy um, the templatized options they have here. I think Spark does things like standard design really well. Like you see some of these posters, like this Cyber Monday deals one or this Smile More Marshmallow poster. You can do some really beautiful designs in here, but once you start working with video, you are quite a bit more limited. It seems like Adobe's definitely invested more on the uh, design and photo aspect of Spark at this point than they have in the video. Um, another thing about Spark is that you'll get this Adobe Spark watermark across the bottom of your video. That's gonna be forced on you with the free plan. So something to plan for. But I will say that once you're inside of Spark's video editor, I, it has a big emphasis on just making things simple and doing a lot of the work for you. Like uh, in the music tab here, it'll actually turn the music on by default when you're editing a video and kind of like uh, encourage you to add a lot of your, uh, you know, a lot of music from their library here. And that kind of stuff's great. You know, I love when you don't have to go out and search for uh, license free music. It's being offered right here. Um, outside of that, you know, they do a lot of cool themes. Like I said before, their templates are one of their stronger points. And, um, you know, with resizing, they make it simple too. It's just widescreen or square. They don't make you think about any sort of aspect ratios or, um, you know, direct dimensions, which is cool. So, um, you know, uh, Spark definitely has uh, some huge benefits if you're just looking to, you know, slap a few elements together, export it and have a video. Um, using some of their uh, templates and preset filters, I think you'll be able to create some really nice things with very minimal effort here. I think Spark does a lot to lead you in the way of good design without forcing you to make a lot of design decisions on your own. So um, with the free plan, you will have the watermark, but I have not seen uh, any limits so far in terms of how much you can publish each month, but definitely worth looking into. And I'll link to all these apps in the description down below. Now, the final app that I've been told to check out for editing on Chromebook was ClipChamp. 
but I was really disappointed to see that my Chromebook device that I'm using here is not powerful enough to run ClipChamp. So while ClipChamp is a decent editor that uh, I've heard great things about for Chromebook, it looks like not all devices are supported. Uh, it says here you need at least eight gigabytes of RAM and your computer should be running a 64-bit OS. So I, I guess I just didn't get a powerful enough machine to try out ClipChamp. It says here that you can keep editing on this computer, but you will need to export your projects on another computer. So that's gonna be a non-starter for me right now. I've only got the one Chromebook. I'm not relying on any of my other devices to uh, edit videos right now for the sake of this video. So um, I will link to ClipChamp down below, try it uh, and see if it works on your device. But unfortunately it was not very helpful for me today. So there you have it. Some of the best video editing options on Chromebook today. These things just keep getting more powerful. Do not sell them short. You can make incredible videos using a simple Chromebook. My name's Robert. I'm a content strategist here at Kapwing. If you liked the video today or if you found it helpful, please drop us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, let us know down in the comments if you are editing video on Chromebook. We actually are running a promotion for Chromebook users right now where you can get two months free when you sign up for a year of Kapwing Pro. So I'll put a link to that down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.